In the Hercules 1997 movie, there has always been one line that has bugged me in particular. In 18 years, precisely, the planets will align ever so nicely. The time to act will be at hand. Unleash the Titans, you monstrous bear. So, apparently, the Titans can only escape their prison whenever the planets are aligned. And when I first saw this, I was like, what are the odds of that happening? Let's talk about that. I know, I know. Very Christmassy, the bow tie. Shouldn't you be doing a video on Christmas or something since, since it's like December and everything? Well, I was going to make a video on something Christmassy viewers. I just. I, I didn't like the idea very much, okay? And I don't make videos I don't believe in or think is fun to create. So, here we are. Talking about ancient Greek mythology and Disney movies on the 1st of December. <sighs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Don't worry, the next video will be about something Christmassy, I, I, I promise, okay? We good? Cool. Now, back on topic. When can the Titans escape their prison? Because according to fate, with capital F, only every time the planets are at line. Can we calculate this? Well, of course we can. But for what other reason will I ask the question to you? In the first place, that would just be dumb. Like, imagine like this. Uh, can we calculate this? No. It makes no sense. Let's take a planet that has 366 days in there, yeah. We divide that by 365, and we get how many times faster it spins around the sun. Or slower, for that sake. It is 1.00. Two, seven, three, nine, seven. And if we multiply these numbers by each other, one Earth year and one 366 year, we, we would get how often they meet. If we do this with the real planet, this is the result we would get. This is the result. Voila! This looks quite scary and quite large. I mean, just, just look at it. Uh, what is this? We can simplify it though. We can put it all underneath uh, divided by 365. Or we could simply do it straight ahead, like solve each bracket, multiply them by each other and get the result. I recommend the first method, uh, divided by 365. Because it's it's much easier and math maths will always be lazy. If we solve this thing, we would find out that every time the, the amount of years it takes before all the planets line up is about <coughs> one minute, three hundred and thirty-nine thousand six hundred and forty-five point zero. To put things into perspective. The first intelligent human buildings were made for about 12,000 years ago. Our solar system has existed for about 4 billion, that is... Four. Yes, this large. If we divide this number by this number, we will get that in the entire course of our solar system, this has happened about 3,000 times. 
and the odds of this happening today is in fact 0 0.0000075 percent chance of this happening today. But the fun doesn't stop there, oh no! You see, before 2006, text appearing on the screen, Pluto was considered a planet. And I'm pretty sure that ancient Greece took place before 2006. This drastically changes our calculation. We have to add on an additional 248.25. We, we have to multiply the entire thing with, with that. <coughs> and you won't believe the result. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? The final result. The amount of time it takes for every planet in the solar system to line up is a great big whopping. 332,567,047.36. Now, I can imagine you're thinking something like... What? And that is understandable. This has only happened 12 times. I repeat myself, in the entire existence of our solar system, this has, this has happened 12 times. 12. Over the course of 4 billion years, 12 times. I mean, what an opportunity for the Titans to escape just a few years after Zeus has captured them in Thanatos. That's what the, the prison is called. I reckon that this is too much of a coincidence to be a coincidence. Let me explain. Try to see this from Zeus' perspective. You have just captured a bunch of bloodthirsty titans and they are going to stay their place in Thanatos. Don't you think they are going to try to escape? At least make an attempt at escaping. This is where my theory comes in. I believe that this, this thing with the planets, this opportunity for the titans to escape, this was intentionally planted by Zeus. So here's how it goes. Instead of the Titans spending every single second in Thanatos trying to escape, they would wait for the planets to line up. But because they are Titans, they don't understand that it takes like 3 million years for the planets to line up. They would say something like, Huh, the planets must be aligned. That shouldn't take so long, huh? <laughs> they have no idea. I mean it. 300 million years is just a stupid amount of time. Like, this is the time the Titans have left in their prison. This is the time they started with. You can barely see the difference. Mm, then again, we're only human. Like, perhaps like 300 million years is an okay amount of time for the Titan. Like, next Saturday or something. <laughs> or perhaps it's quite a long time even for a Titan. Like, like 50 years life sentence or something. Anyway, I don't think we're going to see any self-aware hurricanes or giant magma monsters the next 300 million years, give or take 3000. And the element of the month is barium. Because of Baron's high chemical reactivity, you must keep it in a bottle of paraffin or argon in liquid or gas state. This is so that the element won't react with the air around or water. Don't forget to vote for your favourite element in the monthly element contest down in the comment section. Who knows? Maybe your favourite element is the next element of the month. Guys, you know, the real Hercules, uh, at least the real story, it's, it's much darker and much more sinister than the happy dancing and uh, singing you know, see in the Disney movie. And it, it involves murder, it involves acid. Hercules dies at one point. Well, he does that in the movie as well. But he actually dies, he becomes a god and he has to bore himself every single day, the rest of his god life, eternal life. Uh, Hera, his uh, stepmother, was actually the villain who tried to kill him. It, it's really, really crazy. Let me, let me just tell you. <laughs> so it starts with, oh, hey, look at that. My battery is running low.